Gaddis and welcome back to the Green Hole Garage. Behind me I have my 2006 RXT that I obtained from my grandfather after he passed away. He originally purchased this ski back when it was brand new and only managed to put 16 hours on it by the time I received it last year. When I first got this I never intended to get it to where it is now. I originally planned to just fix it up and then sell it until I took it for the first ride. When I did that I realized how poorly this handled and how poorly it rode but it was a blast to ride. It was super fun. It brought back memories from when I was just a little kid and I just couldn't help but smile the entire time that I happened to be riding it. So when I got it home, I ripped it apart and I started modifying it and now it's reaching speeds of upwards of 83 miles per hour. Now no, it's not breaking any speed records, but for 15 years old, that is super fast and it gets there super quick. It does not handle well, it does not ride well, it just goes in a straight line really fast and really quick. In order to get those higher speeds, I started off with an intake. I used a 4 inch Canaflex hose that I ran up to the front of the ski and it's made it to the supercharger with a 4 inch adapter. Now speaking of the supercharger, I am running an ET68140 that's rated at 16 and a half pounds of boost at 8750 RPM. PM. That is a lot more air flowing out of that thing than the stock supercharger. So in order to cool that massive boost charge, I've upgraded to the fizzle intercooler. I run fizzle intercoolers in all of my skis and that's how I get the best results. With all that extra boost, I needed to upgrade the fuel system. And for that, I've only used 60 pound injectors and so far that's all that I've needed. Making my way into the head, I've used Supertech lightweight valves and Supertech dual valve springs and retainers to allow me to run just over 9,000 RPMs. Going over to the exhaust side, I am using an exhaust manifold spacer and a 2008 style water box with a Riva through hole exhaust. To tie in all of those engine modifications I needed to be able to tune this thing and using the map tuner X I was able to do that flawlessly and if you don't know if you want to go the map tuner route go check out maptunerusa.com and there you will find everything that the map tuner offers. Not only can you tune your ski but you can data log it and also see real-time monitoring and it also has service features that previously you've had to visit your dealer to get all of that taken care of. Not only does MapTunerUSA.com show everything that the MapTuner has to offer, but it also shows all of the tunes that are available for every platform that you would use it for. Not only does this have a lot of engine modifications done to it, but it also has a Riva ride plate, which unfortunately is discontinued, a Riva intake grate, and a Solus 1520R impeller that I've repitched myself to get over 9,000 RPMs out of this. And as you can see, I've also upgraded to the X model steering with the trim system on it, and the trim system does work. No no, the trim system is not necessary to reach those higher speeds because you can compensate with a pump wedge but the trim system is super nice to have so that's everything that i've done to this to make it run 83 miles per hour and i must say it is a true blast to ride everything done to this will be in a link in the description below know this thing is not setting any speed records but even for someone like me that has grown up riding turbocharged fzrs this is a super fun ski to have don't forget to hit that notification bell subscribe and smash the like button because we have a lot more coming. Very soon we will be putting the new GP1800R head to head with the brand new 2021 RXPX300. We will be doing acceleration and speed testing in both stock stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3, but we will also be setting up a buoy course and getting lap time. So not only will I be seeing which one's faster in a straight line, but I will also be seeing what is faster around a buoy course with lap times so you could see which one carries that speed and power through a turn better. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the high speed jet ski action.